All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scripture through faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into today, all right, just dealing with our decision making, you know, in these times, all right, as we all know, you know, speaking to us brothers. All right, we in a time now that our decision making has to be based on salvation and doing what needs to be done. You see, and I'm speaking to myself, you know, first and foremost, you know, because, you know, my short time in the truth, you know, has taught me a lot, you know, about myself as a man. And the scriptures are pretty much is a book <laughs> for rulers. I always say that, but, you know, it's, it's, that's what it is. Like, when you read the scriptures, when you really get into the scriptures and start conforming, you know, to our forefathers, you know, and ultimately, uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, your decision making, you know, is pretty much based on what needs to be done. That's why the Apostle Paul, when he wrote to the Corinthians, all right, in the first book of Corinthians, the seventh chapter, and you get down to the 29th verse, it says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. And see, we in the time now where the time is short. Like, those windows that we had, you know, a few years ago, you know, especially, you know, the older brothers that's been in, um, uh, going back to that 2000, you know, 7, 8, you know, 9 era, you know, going all the way back to the apostles and elders and their elders. See, the, 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 the window is much shorter, all right? For us younger brothers, man, and this time that we in, and now the window is shorter, all right, <laughs> it's smaller, you know, for everyone, because the time is short. Like this thing is moving at a whole nother pace, a whole nother pace. So we have to be in the mind frame of making decisions, all right, based off the time that we're in, you know, and doing what needs to be done now. Reading it again, 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. But I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. And that's not saying you neglect, all right? You fully neglect your responsibilities, all right, with your household. You know, every brother's situation different when you go into that. You know, there's no set, you know, instructions, you know, how to apply this scripture you know, to your situation, but overall, all right, in the general sense, we have to understand that our decision making is based on salvation and what needs to be done, not what, you know, pleases, all right, people around us, you know, there are some days where we're not going to be able to, you know, chill and watch Netflix because there's so much going on, there's going to be weekends where, all right, it's not going to be able to go out on, on, on your date, you know, with your woman because there's so much, you know, going on. You see? And you making decisions based on what has to be done, not what pleases people. See, one thing about, you know, being a leader, you know, that I'm learning is that the reason why, you know, leaders get you know kickback from the people that they're leading because they don't make a decision based on what's popular they make decisions based on what has to be done see there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a particular skill set you know that it takes all right to be a leader man and one thing you have to do is shut down emotions shut down love and do what has to be done because at the end of the day the only love that really matters is the love that we have for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and the love that we have for brothers and Yahweh Shai said that he said on this you can hang all the commandments on those two things alone and if you love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai he's going to be your top priority the ministry is going to be your top priority you know 
you you going you gonna strive for obedience if, if you love your how about your mouth shot you know and then if, if loving the brothers all right loving the body you're gonna teach all right you're gonna fulfill you know whatever your lot is you know in teaching because how shot made it plain to the apostle peter the highest form of showing your love for him is to use that talent you know and it ain't even just directly teaching all the time but every time you read every time you know you research something every time you know you're fellowshipping around the brethren and just having spiritual conversation where you're adding to your arsenal to go teach you know because it get to the point where the majority of our life all right is pretty much taken over by your house shot like even when we're not teaching we're meditating on what to teach next or we uh get information about what's going on you know to teach again you see so for the most part of our life it's either we're teaching or preparing to teach and you do everything else in between you know between it and that's why verse 30 says and they that weep as though they wept not all right and it says and it says, and they that rejoice, as though they rejoice not. You see? As though they as though they rejoice not. And they that buy, as though they possess not. So pretty much, you have an emotionless spirit, man. Because, like I said, leaders, true leaders, the leaders that Yahweh by Shema Shah is grooming us up to be, you know, is, is making decisions. He's grooming us to make decisions based on what needs to be done. All right? Not what's popular, not what's, you know, what's easy on our emotions or someone else's emotions. You see, because we're not, all right, we're not that person that society groomed us to be anymore. We've been, you know, transformed to, to your house shot. We're being transformed to your house shot. You know, we're seeking the old past, as the scriptures say, man. So, even with Moses, all right. You had all that murmuring, but Moses was making decisions based on what had to be done. All right, not on what's popular, what Jake thought was right, you know, and that's how we have to, you know, pretty much govern our lives based on uh, making decisions. All right, on what needs to be done, and not how you know people around us feel. All right, your mama feeling gonna be hurt sometime with your decision making. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your woman. All right. Uh, your people around you, you know, people around. Hey, this decision feeling gonna be hurt, man, with the decision that we gotta make. But it's based on what's got to be done, man. All right, and that's the mind mind frame, you know, that we're being grown to have in these times, man. Doing what needs to be done. So I just want to put that out there, Lord, will you brothers and you few sisters edified? To the next time, I say, Shalom.